learning objectives after completing this module learners will be able to understand the different attribute of poverty comprehend various dimensions in the perspective of concept of the poverty understand the extent of the definition of the term of poverty learn different situations of rural and urban poverty and different situations of those people learn about different ways how the poverty in india has been identified in different times learn about chronic churning occasionally and transient poor in the indian periphery learn about the poverty line and critically examine the concepts of measuring poverty in india understand the different causes and effects of poverty in rural and urban perspective learn how british raj was highly responsible for the poverty in rural india and learn about the famines what were happened during the colonial rule understand different initiatives during five year planning and several policies and programs been taken to alleviate indian poverty understand the different aspects after independence how the policies of government of india could not find the desired results to alleviate poverty learn despite several attempts from the government side how poverty alleviation program have not been succeeded to derive the desired result who are the poor poverty and the poor when people living in poverty are asked to identify their priorities care for the environment or the need for sustainable development are rarely at the top of their lists housing feeding and clothing the family education for their children and care in their old age are much more significant concerns both production or employment and consumption patterns are determined more by these basic needs than by any consideration of their longer term impact the absence of denial of basic necessities constitutes absolute poverty unequal access to basic necessities and other environmental resources is the foundation of relative poverty in addition to being excluded from access to basic resources the poor are also most likely to be subjected to the degrading or polluting impacts of the consumption patterns of others the condition of poor people in india the number of poor in india remains staggeringly high and what is more worrisome demographics and social character of the poor do not appear to be changing laborers or farm workers in villages casual workers in cities tribe peoples dalits formerly called low caste untouchables and muslims remain the poorest indians almost 60% of the poor continue to reside in bihar jharkhand odisha madhya pradesh chatisgarh uttar pradesh and uttarakhand significantly 85% of india's tribes people and dalits live in these states the poverty in urban and rural india the nature of urban poverty possess distinct challenges for housing water sanitation health education social security livelihoods and the special needs of vulnerable groups such as women children and the aging the main reason of rural poverty in different states in india is that most of these regions are either flood prone or suffer from calamities these conditions 
hamper agriculture to a great extent, on which the household income of these people depends. Developing the scale to measure poverty. Identifying the line of poverty. Measuring poverty is not a simple and straightforward task, but a demanding issue fraught with difficulties. The problem arises fundamentally due to definitional contentions among scholars, experts and policy makers. This contention has led to various suggestions from experts and state representatives as to what is poverty and what should constitute as the benchmark poverty line. Dada Bhai Naoroji's Method In his eye-opening book, Poverty and Unbritish Rule in India, Dada Bhai Naoroji referred to subsistence as something that is essential for meeting the basic wants of human beings. Important among the assumptions that he considered for arriving at the subsistence level of expenses as that one of the children population, about 34% did not cost anything and the remaining half cost one half of the adult subsistence requirements. Consequently, he arrived at the subsistence cost of living that ranged between 16 rupees to 35 rupees per person per annum in various regions of the country. Efforts to measure the poverty line during post-independence, a committee on distribution of income and levels of living was set up in 1962 restricted the national minimum for each house of five persons as 20 rupees per capita. In 1979, another body called the Task Force on Projections of Minimum Needs and Effective Consumption Demand was formed. And during 1989 and 2005, the government constituted the expert groups for the same purpose. Categorizing Poverty In the categories, there are the people who are always poor but may sometimes have a little more money like the casual workers so they are grouped together as the chronic poor. Another one is churning poor like small farmers and the occasionally poor as they face poverty for a duration and called as transient poor. Poverty Line what is poverty line? Poverty line is the level and amount of money needed for a person to meet his basic needs. It differs from one country to another depending upon the idea of poverty. In developed countries, this is set in increased level. Poverty line in India India is having a well-designed poverty measurement mechanism under the erstwhile Planning Commission. Planning Commission appointed expert groups from time to time for the same. For example, the Rangarajan Committee was the latest among them. In general, the Planning Commission estimated the number of people below poverty line in states as well as the rural and urban areas based upon the prevailing poverty estimation methodology submitted by the expert groups. As per calorie intake in 2011-2012, the poverty line was defined in rural areas as consumption worth 816 rupees per person, that is 2400 calorie in a month. The same was calculated for urban people as 1000 rupees, that is 2100 calories. On the other hand, 
the distribution of person per thousand number of persons within each monthly per capita expenditure or MPCE bracket obtained by the NSS Consumer Expenditure Survey. Methodology for constructing the poverty line. The concept about minimum consumption, standards and consumption levels have been changed based upon the recommendations on the various expert groups or task forces. Minimum standard of living is thus expressed as the basket of goods and services commonly used by the people. Based on this consumption pattern, the expert groups estimate the minimum consumption levels and the income needed to obtain these goods and services in both rural and urban areas. This income level then acts as the poverty line. The number of poor people in India Trends in poverty in India 1973-2012 to 2012. The estimates of poverty made by the Planning Commission from 1973-74 to 1999-2000 as given in the national level and for various states depicted that they could not be quite comparable to those of the earlier years as the questionnaire used for the survey was changed. Therefore, the decline in poverty ratio in 1999-2000 is highly controversial. National Sample Survey Organization or NSSO Data and Estimates the percentage of below poverty line or BPL population in the urban areas in India has declined from 32.4% in 1993-94 to 25.7% in 2004-2005 based on uniform recall period. The NSSO 61st round shows that Urban poverty has registered a decline in percentage terms. However, it has increased in absolute terms by 4.4 million persons. The fact is that the number of urban poor is rising continuously since 1973-74 as per the uniform recall period. The National Family Health Survey or NFHS Results reveal improvement in the nutritional indicator of persons in the age group 15 to 49 years. Both men and women with less than normal BMI have reduced since 2005-2006 to 2015-2016 substantially. Population under below poverty line state-wise According to the Modified Mixed Reference Period or MMRP concept proposed by World Bank in 2015, India's poverty rate for period of 2011-2012 stood at 12.4% of the total population. As per the methodology of the Suresh Tendulkar Committee report, in 2009-2010, the population below the poverty line was 354 million, 29.6% of the population, and that in 2011 2012 was 269 million, 21.9% of the population. According to the Asian Development Bank, there are still 21.9% of the population who live below the national poverty line. The Causes of Poverty in India The Causes and Effects of Poverty For the reasons of social, economic and political inequality, social exclusion, indebtedness and unemployment and unequal distribution of wealth, the poor people have been become the victim of caste, religious and other prejudiced practices for long. In economics, aggregate poverty is seen in the cumulative effect of individual poverty. 
while as the effects of poverty we can see low capital formation lack of infrastructure and demand pressure of increasing population and absence of social structure of welfare the exploitation of british imperialism we know the british imposed a policy of one way free trade on india after 1813 and the invasion of british manufactures in particular cotton textiles immediately followed indian goods made with primitive techniques could not compete with goods produced on a mass scale by powerful steam operated machines moreover british raj imposed heavy taxes on the farmers and they helped many rural money lenders to become as landlords so they could be rich during british era despite of exporting of food grains to other countries two big famine were happened when more than 50 millions of people died the situation after independence after independence although several attempts were taken to decrease the number of poor people in the country besides in order to see the development of industries and service sector the process of farming had not been charged as per its desired limit after new economic policy being taken in india in 1990 the foreign companies got the chances to enter into the economy of the country it resulted in worse to the situation of the existing poor people and the gross poverty line of the country too policies and programs towards poverty alleviation the planning commission's initiatives the five year plans immediately after independence tried to focus on poverty alleviation through various sectoral programs the first five year plan focused on agriculture production as a way of addressing poverty while second and third plans focused on massive state led investments for employment generation in public sector while these policies did some policy generation they did not have enough strength to have a sweeping effect different policies and programs various programs as taken in different times can be mainly grouped into one wage employment programs two self employment programs three food security programs four social security programs and five urban poverty alleviation programs in order to achieve these goals several programs have been taken up they are one jawahar gram samriddhi yojana or jgsy two national old age pension scheme or noaps three national family benefit scheme or nfbs 4 national maternity benefit scheme 5 annapurna 6 integrated rural development program or irdp 7 pradhan mantri gramin aawas yojana and 8 national rural employment guarantee act or nrega in order to expand self employment and wedge employment programs rural employment generation program or regp prime minister's rozgar yojana or pmry and swarn jayanti shahri rozgar yojana or sjsry were taken up the educated unemployed from low income families in rural and urban areas can get financial help to set up any kind of enterprise that generates employment under pmry sjsry mainly aims at creating employment opportunities both self employment and wage employment in urban areas 
integrated child development service and other programs integrated child development services or icds is another government program which provides food preschool education and primary health care to children under 6 years of age and their mothers 10th 5 year plan also linked icds to anganwadi centers established mainly in rural areas and staffed with frontline workers in addition to fighting malnutrition and ill health the program is also intended to combat gender inequality by providing girls the same resources as boys additionally from 2014 by the help of pradhan mantri jan dhan yojana by which people in the country are encouraged to open bank accounts this scheme intends to transfer all the benefits of government schemes and subsidies to account holders directly and as well as to promote the saving habits in ordinary poor people poverty alleviation critical analysis lack of planning for income generation and in social change some economists argue that the basic weaknesses in the approach still remain unrecognized at the governmental level the income generation orientation of poverty alleviation programs does not recognize the importance of increased flow of social inputs through family welfare nutrition social security and minimum needs program in long term basis secondly the programs have done little for disabled sick and socially handicapped individuals who cannot participate in normal economic activities the strategy for poverty alleviation has also failed to do justice to women in intra family distributions lack of assurance of food and other basic amenities income and employment oriented poverty alleviation programs do not ensure that the poor can really manage to get adequate food all the year round for the family with the increased income other than this the household approach being focused around self employment enterprises or wage employment guarantees is not correct in the state of continuing demographic pressures and increasing number of small size of farm holding dependency of conventional method and policy failure many rural poor depend on natural resources for their livelihood however the practices of using these resources are no longer viable and as a result they are fast deteriorating the government should have taken into consideration the implications of this environmental decay which unfortunately was not taken care of in the past the government has failed to make necessary changes in anti poor laws and policies these laws and policies harm particularly the tribes who depend on non timber forest products for their subsistence and cash income finally the poverty alleviation programs often ignore the consequences of the earning activities of the poor in terms of occupational health hazards and adverse ecological consequences summary let us summarize what we have learned in order to see different dimensions of the poverty we need to see its various indicators like level of income and consumption social indicators indicators of vulnerability to risks and socio political access when the number of poor and their proportion is compared we will have an idea of different levels of poverty of people and their distribution between states and over time
the per capita consumption expenditure level which meets the average per capita daily requirement of 2400 calories in rural areas and 2100 calories in urban areas along with a minimum of non food expenditure is called poverty line or absolute poverty the number of poor in india and their proportion to total population has declined substantially for the first time in the 1990s the absolute number of poor has declined along with poverty alleviation program government has taken several social security program where old people women and children of the poor families have been taken care of it has been seen that majority of rural population living in rural areas and they do usually casual or unskilled jobs in order to measure the poverty the income and expenditure oriented approach would not consider other important factors which are effective in the society for many decades the governmental approach is restrained inside three basic patterns which are growth oriented development specific poverty alleviation program and meeting the minimum needs of the poor in the government initiatives we can seek the lack of usability in order to transform the ownership of the assets and processes of the production and to meet the basic amenities of the poor